With E3 2020 and multiple other gaming events being cancelled this year due to the coronavirus, multiple game developers have taken it upon themselves to reveal new content for games, or new games in general, in a digital format. Whether it's been showing off your new console in a pre-recorded video, showing off your new games in a video format like the Ghost of Tsushima State of Play, or showing off Sakurai's awesome setup, developers have been doing a solid job adjusting to this new way of revealing new info for the foreseeable future. One of the studios that recently revealed a new project was Square Enix at Sony's PlayStation 5 event, revealing Project Athea, a brand new IP, and later on YouTube, revealing Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. But that's not all I have lined up for a while, as Square has confirmed more is on the way. What do I mean? Well, let's mosey. Also, the translations and the information found in this video are from an IGN article, of which I'll be linking down below. Now, like I said before, we have at least two Square Enix projects currently that have been revealed. Project Athea, a new action RPG from Luminous Productions, and Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, a rhythm action game continuing the story after Cage 3 and its Remind DLC. However, Square Enix held a stockholders meeting on June 24th, and when it asked how COVID-19 has affected plans to announce new games. According to a representative, new games were set to announce actually at E3. To quote, We would normally announce new games at E3, yes. We had planned to have a press conference as a replacement event, but were unable to do so since assets were not complete. We'll be announcing new titles individually as timing permits. Several debut around July to August. So, we have some pretty interesting and exciting news to finally share. It is upsetting we weren't able to get a full-on replacement press conference, but it seems like Square was able to find out actually how to reveal the new info. So, we're going to have new announcements in July and August, which is extremely exciting. Now, they do actually specify here that they'd be announcing new games at E3 if it wasn't cancelled this year, so speculation has ramped up once again. What can be announced here? Now, in the past, Square ended up revealing Final Fantasy XV during PlayStation's E3 2013 press conference, where Sony was revealing more about the PS4. It wouldn't really surprise me if Final Fantasy XVI is possibly going to get announced. Now that we know that Project Athea is its own thing and not a Final Fantasy game, we can assume that a theoretical FF16 is probably going to be announced down the road, possibly throughout these next two months. The one I've been hearing a lot of people hope for is a possible announcement or teaser of Final Fantasy VII Remake Part II. Now while I would be ecstatic about this, it's doubtful in my opinion. Final Fantasy VII Remake came out not even too long ago, and I just don't see them already having a trailer lined up, even a simple teaser one. But hey, that might just be me. Not to say I'd be complaining though. I've also heard some people say maybe a new Kingdom Hearts game, a theoretical Kingdom Hearts 4 or whatever. I think this would be cool, but I think Melody of Memory is sort of going to be filling that gap for a while until we get to that theoretical game. But in general, I and many others are still excited for whatever Square has in store. With that said and done, what do you all think is going to get announced throughout these next couple of months? Keep in mind, only new games now. Let me know down below. Thank you all very much for watching, have a great night, and signing off. Peace out, soldiers.